Hello everyone, the Chart Guys have been working on an introductory technical analysis course for quite some time now, and after surveying hundreds of traders with what would be the most sought after information regarding technical analysis, we came up with this course, When to Enter and Exit. It covers over five hours of the basics on when to enter and exit, and we feel after watching this course, it will help build a foundation of technical analysis knowledge, which will eliminate a lot of the uncertainty in the world of trading stocks. So the course outline, we go over the psychology of trading, establishing a game plan, the different indicators we use to signal a bullish and bearish entry, how to recognize support and resistance levels, poor entries, where traders make mistakes, exit targets, how do you know where to sell your trade, where to place stop losses, that's very important, minimizing losses is what keeps you in the game long term, my personal preparations, how I go about getting ready for each trading day, and then piecing it all together, utilizing all the information we just learned and how to apply that in the real world for making successful, profitable trades. As a bonus, we also include a lot of information on finding entries and exits utilizing patterns. And you can find these patterns on every time frame on pretty much any stock and commodity trading. And certainly being able to recognize those patterns can give you an edge as well. So we hope you will check this out. Again, it's an introductory level course. So if you are new to technical analysis and trying to get a firm grasp on things and seeming feeling a little bit overwhelmed, then this course is for you. I hope you check it out. Appreciate you watching. Hey everyone, checking in on Apple. So we've got a beat and we've got a bullish reaction to earnings with a big time move to the upside. We're now seeing normal healthy consolidation. Looks like a bull flag on the five minute. So obviously a lot can change before the open tomorrow, but without seeing a big time dump after the breakout, it does look like that the bulls are going to remain in control in reaction to these earnings, at least until the open tomorrow. So we're going to be looking now at where are we looking at support and resistance. And obviously the price action that occurs after hours in pre-market is important because we are establishing support and resistance levels to be watching tomorrow during regular trading hours. So I'm going to be watching to see where support is found on the bounce, where resistance is, what's the high of pre-market or after hours, I should say, which currently is 125.27. So I know that's a resistance level. And then I'm looking at the daily and weekly time frames to find other levels. There's none on the daily in terms of resistance because we are in such a bull move and we actually have to zoom out to find the next resistance on the weekly time frame, which is always a good thing for the bulls. So if we were to open, let's say it's at 124. There's a lot of price history resistance in this range. And I would be looking at 125.86, 125.12. There's a couple tops that we had up here because the most recent resistance where we topped out and then dumped was at 128.94. So that's a ways away. So I would be watching all these different price levels. And the bulls are going to have to consolidate, in my opinion, before we get a new all-time high. We're going to watch the weekly upper Bollinger Band support. We're going to start... At least as of right now, we are above that level. It's going to be up around 123, factoring in the increase in price. So we'll watch to see if the bulls can close the week above the upper Bollinger Band. But we've seen very little consolidation over the past two and a half, three months. And in my opinion, in order to be heading up towards that all-time high, which is at 129.92, we are going to have to see a bit more sufficient consolidation for the bulls to have the momentum to get over that level. So bulls very strong here. We're going to have to see how it plays out. Again, those earnings came out 20 minutes ago. So the price range is going to set itself after hours in pre-market tomorrow. And we'll be watching if the bulls can hold on to this gap up that's likely coming. And again, gap up plays. We use the 20 period, five minute moving average support at the open. If it's as resistance, we know profit taking is likely. As long as that 20 period, five minute holds as support, the gap up shows strength and the bulls maintain. So there's all kinds of strategies with gaps and how to play them and we're going to be watching that 20 period on the five minute as our guide and we'll see we have to update the daily upper bollinger band that's going to start the day around let's say the mid to upper 124s tomorrow as it's going to get factored in with the current increase in price so all kinds of levels that updating tomorrow first thing at the open are going to give us and we don't have much information to go off of right now after the earnings have taken place so we'll be covering that all live and watching the high volume high volatility that is likely to come with apple in reaction to earnings so i appreciate you watching tomorrow we'll have a lot more information in terms of where to look to start february and i will see you then